So now in this video we're going to look at the uh, LM358 op amp. That's the main thing. It is an op amp wired as a comparator. So it's going to compare a couple of voltages. We have an op amp on that side that we're not using. It's a dual op amp integrated circuit. And we got the op amp over here. Of course we have to power the integrated circuit. Positive supply there. And the uh, negative supply here. This is ground. Zero volts. We could also make ground a halfway point between the voltages and this would be the negative supply but uh, we're going to use it as a single supply op amp in this video and uh, that is generally its intended use so we have the non-inverting input right there going to a trim pot that we set uh, one voltage and then we have this uh, fixed resistor right there you can see one to the positive supply one to the uh, negative supply and they are both 10,000 ohm resistors equal value so we'll have half of the supply voltage 5 volts we have the output right here, so the red LED is lit right now. That's because the output is high. It's connected as close to the positive supply as it can, going through the 220 ohm resistor long lead anode below the uh, short lead, the cathode, right there, going to ground. If I turn the trim pot, you'll see that the blue LED lights up. So let's look at the uh, voltages. These alligator clips come from the uh, cable of uh, my pocket oscilloscope right there, and First we will look at the supply voltage and you'll see it's 5 volts right there. And we are going to go to the uh, trim pot right here. We can adjust, actually let's go up above the trim pot to the fixed value resistors. So there you can see as I said before they're equal value and uh, so we're going to get half of that 5 volt uh, power supply right there. So now the blue LED is lit up. That means we're below that halfway point of 2.5 volts right there. There you can see we're below 2.5 volts. If I turn the trim pot so that we get above 2.5 volts, the red LED lights up. I'll go back down to a 2.5. It can be anything above 2.5. Anything below 2.5, blue LED, anything above red LED. As you can see right there, the halfway point. So let's look at the output now because this is important. And you can see here that uh, we're not quite all the way to ground, but this op amp can get all the way to ground right there to the uh, negative supply. It has the ability, but when you demand current of it, it may uh, not get all the way to ground. Now let's get the output high, and uh, there we go, red LED lit up. There you can see it's falling short of five volts. And getting rid of the LED, so it's not powering anything right now, barely change the voltage that it's uh, outputting. So it can't get to 5 volts. Even with no load, it cannot get to 5 volts. And uh, so, let's look at the inverted version. And here we have our inverted comparator. So it's still comparing the voltages, but now we have our reference voltage at the non-inverting input, the plus right there. You can see the two resistors come there, one to the negative supply, 10,000 ohm resistor, and one to the positive supply, 10,000 ohm resistor. We got the uh, same color code, even though the band is a little smaller there. Going to the positive supply. So we got 2.5 volts out of 5 volts from the supply. Then we have our signal, our variable voltage, and it's going to the trim pot. Trim pot's all the way to the positive supply. You don't have to worry about current with these inputs. They don't let current through other than a tiny trickle slips through. Practically none. But it uh, just looks at the voltages, doesn't depend on current, and practically no current uh, gets through. So we're all the way up to 5 volts, higher than 2.5 volts. The output's low. And again with this LED, I didn't mention it before, the anode is below the cathode. The longer lead is below the uh, shorter lead because that's the direction we need it to light up when current's flowing that way, from positive to negative. So, in any case, we'll zoom back again, and uh, we can take a look at the reference voltage. Again, still 5 volts, uh, 2.5 volts out of 5, halfway, and then we got our uh, signal here, which is all the way up to 5 volts, and uh, we'll lower it below about uh, 2.5. So, now we have a lower input than our reference voltage, and we have a high output. That's why it's inverting. Now we'll go higher than our reference voltage and we got a low output. That's why it's inverting. And now we come to the diagram. So we have the uh, schematic here of the non-inverting comparator. Here is the pin layout for the LM358 
op amp remember this is an op amp it's not a comparator integrated circuit there are comparator ones but uh, the op amp can uh, make a comparator too generally speaking op amps can be comparators and op amps and comparators can just be comparators but in case we have the output there for one the inverting input the non-inverting input and then we got ground but if we're using a dual supply where we have a positive voltage and a negative voltage in relationship to ground then this becomes either VEE or the uh, negative supply voltage right there and uh, so it can be either but in any case we also got the op amp there but we're only using one of two of them so it's a triangle with two inputs that's how you know it's an op amp or a comparator for that matter and uh, hopefully the part number is in there so you know a good one to use now we have the supply voltage on here that's how it's shown sometimes it's not shown you'll just have the triangle you won't have this line in ground or anything else and you won't have that generally you can assume it's the uh, supply voltage of the load but you never know for sure but uh, any case as long as that's a safe voltage to use go ahead and use it whatever is supplying everything else now we have our reference voltage two equal value resistors we use 10k to the inverting input 2.5 volts and we have the non-inverting right there so pretty straightforward we uh, looked at that on the board and uh, the uh, blue LED so when the output was low is connected to ground so that meant our input was below 2.5 volts and I got a 1000 ohm resistor protecting the blue LED because it's naturally brighter and as you can see we got a little bit more voltage across the uh, blue LED anyways and uh, but uh, it worked out pretty nicely with its brightness compared to the red LED I used a lower value resistor 220 ohm resistor we were a bit shy of 5 volts and uh, but we were also a bit shy of uh, ground with a load we were always shy of 5 volts with or without a load and uh, LEDs are just not red LEDs are just not as bright naturally so lower value resistor helped equal out the brightness now we have the inverting comparator so again it may or may not have the supply there but uh, you'll notice here now I have the non-inverting input above the inverting input whereas this one lines up with what the integrated circuit is and by the way not all op amps have the same pin layout I always check the data sheet but uh, in any case we can put the uh, inverting the uh, negative sign or the non-inverting the plus sign which I'm pointing at on top or bottom either either way and uh, so all I did was uh, copy this and swap the pins to change it from a non-inverting to an inverting comparator and uh, so we already talked about if the uh, signal here is above 2.5 volts then the output will be low so higher low blue LED if we go lower than 2.5 volts we'll have a high output right there and I wrote it down to but I already explained it and uh, explained it quite a bit so I'm not going to do that anymore we can with this op amp according to the data sheet I looked at work with a supply voltage of 3 so we use 5 in this video to uh, 32 volts so a wide range of uh, voltages going to have to be real careful with power though at 32 uh, use as low a voltage as you can but in case 5 volts probably work good if you're looking at it as a dual supply so remember dual supply is when the uh, ground is halfway between a positive voltage and a negative voltage so this is a positive voltage of 1.5 volts and a negative voltage of 1.5 in relationship to ground which is a 3 volt difference and uh, it's all just about where ground is when the output is high so 5 volts that means the output is the source of the current when the output is low that means it is sinking current that's how we think of conventional current the opposite direction of electron flow and uh, as I said before this is a single supply op amp that's what it's intended for so that it can recognize ground at the input and uh, at the output but again if you have a load it may not go to ground you may need a transistor or something to uh, do that if you absolutely have to to uh, get to ground you can use the op amp as a signal for the transistor the output and have it go from there but we're not going to cover that in this video we'll do that later so in any case I'm going to end it there hope you enjoyed and uh, make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot 
I'll see you in the next video.